Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mastery Mode. First of all, I'm getting here the Super Monkey Liar, so the Super Monkey Special Building. And uh, that's because we're gonna face now, I think that uh, we're gonna face here the third most hard track uh, in the whole game. And the track is gonna be uh, Death Valley. And this track is hard, especially because we got here the shorter, so the shortest path in the whole game. It's gonna be this one. This path here really is the shortest in the whole game. And uh, if we like, for example, place towers like here and the balloons just pass here, these towers, it's just this part here and they're out and we're gonna be losing. <laughs> so yeah, that's, this is what makes this map so hard. Uh, the fact that the bottom path here, the bottom part of the track, because the balloons are gonna, of course, split, split up uh, in the two paths. So uh, half of the balloons are gonna come in the bot side, half in the top side, okay? But it's gonna be even harder uh, because of course, having a, having a path so short is gonna mean that we can't have the time to react to place any uh, any road spike for example and also this path is hard because there are little room for the farms so i'm gonna use it here an injection of course here the helis don't work uh, as you may tell because the beginning of the path are really sh far from each other because this path is so short that if the helis stop focusing this part here and they go here it's just over and because of course these two paths here the helis are gonna bouncing back from one another and they're gonna lose tons of time okay so another thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna place here a bloomberry bush uh, in the bottom part just for that and as i was talking about farms so here spots for farms are really few so we can't place farms here we can't here i thought we could but we can't here in this mobile version in the pc version i think that you can uh, we can't here really the only three spots here are this one here uh, this one here that is the biggest of the three and then this spot here really these three are the only spots for the farms so now even though we got an injection and uh, we're gonna be Uh, getting these farms here to zero each but we can't place more so we're gonna have at the end just three factories and I'm using temple I'm using super monkeys here because temples are gonna be a must especially in the bot side uh, the bot side is so short even though I got the <clears throat> I got um balloon chippers the balloon chippers yeah they're gonna stop the mobs but the ceramics the amount of ceramics is gonna be so much that yeah also as, as if you may tell here also the aces very little spaces to place the aces here maybe here uh somewhere here maybe yeah uh, here no yeah, so this this track here is hard for uh, many reasons, and uh, yeah, we have also little room. Even though the track is seems big, but this kind of split here between the rocks is gonna make is gonna take out so much space that we could use to place the farms. So that's sad, but whatever. Let's try to get the most here from this track. So at 2.8k, we're gonna be selling these two 3.0 farms. And we're gonna be getting the factory. So next round. Here we go. Um, Uh, 
let's go and yeah that's really everything we should know here really the top path i don't even care about the top path because it's so long that i have all the time that i want to place the road spikes and to react if some balloons uh, pass but really the, the my main concern is the, is the bot bottom path and that's why the first uh, tempo that I'm gonna build is gonna be in the bottom side uh, with the special building here the the super monkeys and the upgrades cost less um, super monkeys can have a bigger range they can spot camo and uh, was what the last thing ah yeah and the last thing or mo the most important thing that we're going to be using is that uh, there's going to be an activated ability for the for the super for the temple and this is going to be an activated ability there's going to double the beam is going to double the attack speed and it's going to double the popping power something like that of the temple for a period of time i think the period of time is the same of the uh, mib activated ability uh, okay so let's start placing these super monkeys here i'm gonna be placing uh, first in the bottom part here and i'm gonna switch to the top side here we can start selling these torches now um, um okay so i'm gonna though get here i'm gonna spend a bit of a bit of time here placing the farm the towers but i really need these super monkeys here that can start stopping these blooms here in the top side also because just focusing the in the bottom side and then we, we lose because of the top side so that's a thing i don't want to do gonna be soon start upgrading these sacrifices here but not not right now uh, then I need, uh, I need I need I need the uh, apprentices here okay here we go I place everything okay let's see how I do with this ceramics here okay well Okay, so for next round, for the camo leads, I'm going to be needing the apprentices upgraded. So that's why I'm going to uh, get here the apprentices in the, bot in the bottom and the top side. Here we go, one and these two. So I think they should be popped here in the bottom side, but maybe the apprentice is just placed too far back or not. No. Okay. Okay. We can start here upgrading these towers here. I'm gonna 
I get here? Okay. We were able here to destroy the mobs, the first mobs in round 40. So I'm getting... Okay, so I got every sacred... Oh, no, I got here the... Missing the... The ice towers, but I got almost everything upgraded here for the bottom side uh, sacrifices. Okay, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna soon get here also this. Super monkey is upgraded here in the top side. And then we're gonna have to wait until we can upgrade the 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 super the sun god to get the temple going. Uh, but really I'm not really worried here because uh, the sacrifices in the meantime are gonna be doing tons of damage to the bronze. As you can tell, the ice towers are gonna slow, the bombs are gonna do damage, then there are the sound gods and the road monkeys also damage, blue gunners slowing down, popping, the apprentices, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh no, I got the farmer here in the range so I'm gonna have to move it a bit to the right here yeah so sad whatever okay let's start getting here the so the sun god here in the bottom part so this super monkey here is gonna become the temple but of course as I said before the bad thing here is the cash the cash that we get for the three factories is very little and we're gonna be waiting tons, a lot of rounds here, until we can get the temple. I hope. So, three, three k of farm, of cash from each factory here per round. So it's gonna be nine k. So in ten rounds is ninety k. Hmm. Ninety k. I may have to sell here something. Probably this sun god here in the top side to get this one to Tampo here because before on 60, bef because of course, where the Zomai god is gonna come. Imagine round 60, just one Zomai god, where is gonna come in the bot side, of course, <laughs> where the path, path is the shortest, is in that the, the Zomai god is gonna come. <sighs> that's annoying and uh, yeah fifty six let's see if I don't get enough money yeah I'm not gonna get enough cash for random sixty not in the world so I think I'm gonna maybe not this sound god maybe we can sell something cheaper but it's gonna give me tons of cash the same so 94k mm. okay we're close we're close maybe this blue gunner here 7.5k let's see around 59 hmm Okay, yeah, I can, I can. Yes, do it. Oh, yes, before on 60. Okay, so I activated there the ability just because that oh my god was too close. Uh, okay, so we got the tempo. Whew. We could got the tempo before on the 60. Whew. That was close. Uh, let's get here as fast as we can the bureau here two three 
uh, and let's get here the epic range so now the tempo as you can see the range is massive and it's gonna also uh, help a bit in the left side while we get here to get the temple here in the top side now but now that we got the temple in the bot side uh, i'm so relaxed but it's not gonna last a long okay it seems that now you may say here yeah but you got a temple yeah, you're gonna be wrecking these blooms uh, so fast that's not true because even though we got the temple here and we got also the best sacrifices to get the temple at its powerful uh, at its most most powerful so now is the temple is really at, the, at its best but it's not gonna be enough we're gonna probably be needing here the activated ability for later rounds uh, because I think, yeah, here we're gonna be needing other 10 rounds to get the temple in the top side. So as you can see here, even if I get the temple here, the zone I got just gets enough closer so that the ceramics and the balloons are gonna come here. So they can still get there. It's more than half of this path here. Even though we got the temple there and we got a bureau that is powering it up. So that's why if another Zoma God uh, enters in the bot side, I'm just gonna click in the ability here. So the the ability of the temple here uh, that is the fourth upgrade in the special building is gonna give the temple. Um, so double beam, so double beam from the sun God, okay? Then it's gonna make the temple attack twice as faster so more uh, more ice shards more missiles more uh, razor blades and more uh, glue guns and more tornadoes okay plus the beams also that shoot faster and third thing i think is gonna is increases uh, it increases also the popping power of the temple so the amount of balloons that the beam can go through i think it's infinite with the activated ability so infinite popping power like for example the laser upgrade in the daltring gun so the 4-2 daltring gun its popping power is unlimited infinite uh, i think that's something like that but every time i see a zoom i got there in the bot side i'm going to activate the ability so as you can see here the temple becomes black and uh, attacks faster it does double beam the beam becomes red and uh, also there is a little okay i almost got the temple also. okay i got the temple here also in the top side here now here we go okay um let's get here the two villages and let's start building up the village also in the top bot side so first i'm gonna get here a bureau of course to power up also the temple in the top side uh, now i'm gonna increase the range here also now with two temples as you can see the zomigats are popped faster because the top temple can also help in the bottom uh, path here because the range is enough um, but here we're gonna start building the a four zero village because we want to activate that temple ability as soon as we can, especially now in the late game in the late rounds, round eighty one, eighty two, as and especially eighty four, is gonna be crucial. So I can sell these farms now. Why am I keeping them? Okay. Okay, many of my guards here coming, just activating both of the temple's abilities here. Yes, red beam. Okay, let's get these four zero villages. Let's get also the MIBs here. Why not? Okay, here we go. So now we got the two temples. 
the two abilities of the tampos that we can use and and we got the two MIBs I think uh, from the experience that I have in the mobile version I think that uh, it's not gonna stack because here sadly in the mobile version the things are done uh, poorly not poorly but uh, they are not so good so um, if I activate the temple ability and I activate the MIB ability the temple is not gonna attack any faster than that and it's not gonna have even more popping power so I'm gonna use the two abilities here uh, not at the same time so for example I'm gonna use the temple ability then after the temple ability ends I'm gonna use the the um, MIB's ability to power up the base temple then I'm gonna use the special ability of the temple and so on so I'm gonna use them when one finishes I'm gonna use the other one that's why I'm gonna do it so yeah maybe here it could be nice like to get another temple somewhere like here uh, but sadly we don't have cash to do that okay let's see now round 81 okay let's just get here first the temples ability here So it it seems that they last longer, but just because uh, uh, the game is lagging a bit with all the of the explosions, and uh, that's why it seems that the ability lasts longer, but it really isn't. Okay, now round eighty two, gonna use again the tempo's ability, and uh, when the effect ends, I'm gonna use the MIB's abilities. Okay, here we go. And now using the maybe's ability to make the tempos attack faster and having more popping power. And now, as you can see here, I have already back the tempos ability. So yeah, I'm just playing between of the two because having here our four zero village is gonna decrease thirty percent of the cooldown in the activated ability. 20% sorry and I got from the monkey lab 30% less cooldown so in total is 50% and that that is quite a lot and that's why these uh, the abilities are recharging uh, so fast okay let's see here round 84 but we should be able to survive here because uh, we got uh, double double ability to destroy the zombie gods okay here we go around 84 as soon as the zombie gods appear i'm gonna use the here we go the temple ability the temples are angry ah so cool the ability is so cool and now it should be almost over let's see yeah there it's over now i'm gonna use the mib ability because the, as you can see here the zoom guts just continue to spawn <laughs> this round here 84 is so long okay here we go last oh my god just the last round here the last five oh my god let's use the temple ability yes okay i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna end with the activated ability on yeah so cool oh 
Okay, here we go. We got Impopable Metal. Uh, for this really hard track, I think this hard track is the third most harder, most hardest of the uh, down the drain and tar pits because of the that bottom path really shorter. So hope you guys enjoyed. See ya in my next video. Bye bye.